and Harry Rosen is known for fashion, in particular men's fashion, and that's where I want to start. What trends have you noticed changing over the past couple of years? The last two years have been such a transformation in men's fashion, and I think two trends really stand out to us. The first is comfort. We've all been working in a much different way, and you've seen a lot of fashion styles move into much more technical, stretch fabrics. You're seeing investment pieces also be another theme, so men want something that can carry them at work, that they can wear on a night out. And you guys have teamed up with Brian McCourt on a new collection. Talk to us about that transition. Yeah, so our motto is that when you feel your best, you end up doing your best. So when we attack the home, we partner with Brian to bring a real edited, clear point of view. What advice would you have for men who want to extend their personal style into their home? I think it all starts with something that you can bring and put on the shelf or uh, set up that has a story behind it. So you've curated some beautiful designs for Inside the Home. Talk to us about this collection. Yeah, I think where Harry Rosen and my brand really collided was in this commonality of timeless design and quality construction. And so with them, it's with the clothing, but with us, it's with the furniture and the decor items. And you're known for kind of the sleek and functional backyard creations, but are you finding this new world that we're living in, you know, with people wanting the same kind of functionality inside their home, kind of marrying all that together? Yeah, I think so. I think like where great design stands is when it's functional and beautiful. Why not put as much attention into the curation of the desk as well as the dining room? You know what I mean? Those things are equally as important now where they weren't in the past. Where I really play well is in pieces that are meaningful. So I think that we used to do it better a long time ago. I wanted to incorporate pieces that would last a long time, that were really quality constructed, that could be refinished, and that people handed down and passed down to generations. When you're eating at a dining table that your grandparents grew up eating on, it's like the only thing that's really separating you is time. And so it's this really connected moment through furniture. Now, Brian, I want to see some of your favorite pieces of the table, so let's start there. The base has two cylinders that are joined by a structural piece, and I just think it's so beautiful as you walk around it, it just looks different. And I'd be remiss if I didn't mention the chandelier. The torch shape on it almost makes it feel a bit more classic, but then we've got a really modern white plaster finish on it. I've been focused on the pillows because there are so many different colors and patterns. Yeah, the pillows were actually inspired by the clothing at Harry Rosen. There's a lot of traditional suit fabrics. We have a houndstooth pillow. We have a lot of window panes and plaids, and then solid pillows to go with it. I think I need to go do some shopping because I've been eyeballing a couple of different pieces. Thank you so much for spending your time with us. Thanks so much for having me. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.